In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn how to generate a parts list once you've assigned part numbers to your components. If you haven't done so already, we recommend watching the Assigning Part Numbers tutorial. I have some motor starters here that I've already assigned part numbers to. Now I want to generate a parts list. To do this, select a project in the tree view, go to the Show tab, and select Parts List. A new tab is opened with the parts list displayed. As with many lists in SkyCAD, they can be modified according to your preference. Click a column header to select a column. Clicking the left or right arrow buttons will move the column position. Columns can be hidden by selecting Hide Column. All hidden columns can be seen by selecting Show Hidden Columns. To unhide a hidden column, select it and choose Show Column. I'll turn off Show Hidden Columns. To insert a list onto a sheet, select Insert List Block. Choose the sheet you want the list added to, or create a new sheet if need be. Though I'll just choose the sheet I already have. Click OK, and drop the list block onto the sheet. The list block will display whichever columns were displayed here at the time the list block was inserted. The list block can be scaled by selecting it, going to the Drawing tab, selecting Scale, and scrolling the mouse wheel. Columns can be resized by selecting the list block and clicking and dragging the handles. The list block can also be split by going to the Home tab and selecting Split List Block. A list block can be split as many times as you like and across multiple pages. Deleting one of the splits will consolidate the list. All list blocks are dynamic and updated in real time as the project evolves. For example, if I add a new component to the project, the parts list is automatically updated. The principles I've shown you are not only for parts lists, but can be applied to any list of information that looks like a spreadsheet, and can be inserted onto a sheet as a list block. This can be done for parts lists, bill of materials, terminal schedules, cable schedules, etc. If you've purchased the advanced license, lists can also be exported as either Microsoft Excel or CSV files 